Alright guys, welcome to your 28th biology video, and in this video, I want to talk to you guys about the two different types of chemical reactions that can happen inside your cell. Now, by that I mean anabolic and catabolic. Now, these are actually really easy to understand, and once you understand one, you're going to un understand the other because they're actually complete opposites of one another. So let's go ahead and first talk about anabolic. So in an anabolic chemical reaction, what happens is it's pretty much a reaction that builds larger molecules. So anytime we want to build a larger molecule, we need two or more smaller molecules to come together. So say we have two smaller molecules, A and B, they're going to come together and form a larger molecule. We'll call this molecule A, B. So that's what happens in an anabolic chemical reaction. Now, of course, you can kind of see where this is going. Let's go ahead and talk about catabolic chemical reaction. Now, a catabolic chemical reaction is when you have a larger molecule, such as A, B, and after the chemical reaction, you end up with two or more smaller molecules. We'll say in this instance, it's A and B. Now, that's easy enough to understand, but what... Okay, this is... Let me draw... Okay, good enough. All right, so as I was saying, this is pretty much easy to understand. Anabolic, two or more smaller molecules coming together to form a larger molecule, and catabolic is just the opposite. But we also know that it takes energy to bond together molecules. So that's interesting. So why am I saying that? Well, this is the key that we need to take away whenever I'm talking about anabolic and catabolic chemical reactions. A and B, in order to bond together, they require energy. So this, in addition to having this arrow, you need additional energy. So whenever you have an an anabolic chemical reaction, energy is consumed. And why does it need energy? It needs energy so it can bond together these molecules right here. Make the bond right there. Now in a catabolic chemical reaction, what happens is whenever two molecules break apart, energy is released. So released. So what happens here is when A breaks apart from B, energy is going to be released in the form usually of heat. Now I'm saying this because later on we're going to be talking about a process called cellular respiration and ATP and all this good stuff and this energy right here isn't just wasted your cells can actually use this energy to do things like grow repair move around or just store the energy for later on so that's the basics of an anabolic and catabolic reaction just remember anabolic is two or more smaller molecules coming together to form a larger molecule and whenever you have an anabolic reaction it takes energy you need to get energy from somewhere else in order to bond together those molecules now in a catabolic chemical reaction what happens is two or more molecules or a larger molecule breaks apart and whenever it breaks apart it releases energy that your cell can use and it breaks apart into two or more smaller molecules as we can see right here. So later on we're going to be talking about what the cell uses this energy for and you guys are going to understand you know the basics of cellular respiration but right now I'm going to be talking about this and I just don't want to say that you know that energy comes from a magical place this is where it comes from the bonds that bond molecules together. So thank you guys for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe.